usual 10.30 embargo, please. And show of hands for the microphones. Great. Good afternoon, Pep. Um, any update on the situation uh, regarding Ma Mikel Arteta? Not at all. Has I, he, has, I know what you know. Has he trained with you over the last couple of days, or have you seen him? Today I saw him, yeah. Has he trained with you, though? Or is he working here? Is he part of the game at Oxford? Yeah. He's travelling, yeah. What makes him such a good coach that other clubs are saying, we'd like him? Because uh, we were so smart to pick him up, and after the other clubs wants him. But, but, but what, are, what, are, what are his skills, though? You know, what, what I said many times. So he's an incredible person. He's a good manager. So work ethic. So that's why he's with, with us. And what are your instincts about what might happen? Do you think he will stay, or do you think he will go? Uh, he's talking with Arsenal, so I don't know what's going to happen. The final one for me, how important is this competition, a competition you've won and enjoyed winning? How important is the Carabao Cup for you and Manchester City? Well, we, it's important because uh, we sh show it, uh, because we won the last two Carabao Cups so, and we are in quarterfinals, so a chance to, to arrive at semi-final again. And, and we travel tomorrow to Oxford. To, to, we play against them last season with the same manager and try to qualify for the next round. Simon Stone, BBC. Um, there were obviously the pictures of Mikel meeting the people from Arsenal very late on Sunday night. Were you aware of that meeting? Yeah, I, I knew it, yeah. Um, what advice or what, what, what do you say to him? Nothing. What advice I have to do? He's adult, he knows exactly what he has to do. So He was incredible, transparent, honest with me, so... Do you know if, I mean, obviously if he goes, then that would be a, a big change in your coaching situation. What would you do? Would you be able the, to... The organisations, the staff, the clubs as in, is always alive. It's not a position that always stay like it was today. It doesn't work tomorrow. What the people is today, maybe tomorrow will not be here. So now is a... Uh, He's part of our group, <coughs> our group and our staff, and stay here. So, when we have any news, new news, so I will know it, you will know it, and after we will know what happened. So we will, now it's here. Tomorrow travel with us. He trained today. He will prepare the training session in the game, and that's all. And in terms of the fact that a club the size of Arsenal would like one of your coaches to manage their football club that that says that's a big compliment for the it's way happened. that you work it's happened so last last season we have Lee Nopes here and went to Liverpool so and he decided to went to Liverpool now it happened with Mikel that teams wants him so uh, he knows exactly what we want we would like but at the end the final decision is is individual is personal nobody's here when he doesn't want to want to be so he's just still here because he want to be we we decide to work together since three years ago what happened in the next days i don't know honestly i would like to to be here michael and can explain better than me so but uh, i have the obligation to come in front of you sam and i'm here Mars, Pep. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the Champions League draw because City is going to play against Real Madrid. Obviously, you came from Barcelona and you have lived the, a special rivalry with 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 Real Madrid. Uh, I don't know how 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 you see this tie and if it's going to be like more special or more tense for you. No, it was an incredible test for us. So the draw was the draw. So the king of this competition. So and we will prepare as best as possible. So still two months. To, to play against them and when the previous seasons always I said the same so now is our own situation you have to see in February when we arrive how will be our condition and the Madrid condition to to play a, try to play good two games 
A Pep Enrique i el Catalunya Ràdio. Uh, tomorrow uh, in Spain plays uh, Barcelona against Madrid. Uh, I just want to ask you if uh, you want the game to be played because it has been a bit of concern about that. And also, uh, who is uh, the favorite, who think is the favorite team of uh, for that game? I think both teams are having a good moment. But uh, I saw highlights, I didn't see much. But I think in the results, they they arrive in a good moment. In a <coughs> always there with a special. Always I thought that the team who plays at home is a little bit an advantage. But, you know, you, you never know these kind of games. And, of course, we'll, unfortunately, we cannot watch it because we have a game tomorrow against Oxford. But uh, next days, I don't think so. We have time. We have Leicester and Bolt and in Sheffield, so many games in a few few days, but uh, we're going to watch the game for the curiosity, of course, because Madrid is the next rival in Champions League, and we're going to watch how was the game. Pet Mandy from the Premier League. Uh, Leroy Sani posted a, a picture on Instagram saying that he'd done his first session back on the pitch. Can you update us on his progress and how much of a boost it will be when he does come back? What is the next step? To go to the pitch, and the next one will be training, start to train with us, a little part of the training session, and after Full training session is incredible, good news for him, for all of us, and it's, it's good. And what sort of a challenge are you expecting from Oxford? From, from you know? Oxford tomorrow? Ah, from Oxford. Uh, well, we... Uh, so, the same manager, they changed a little bit, the difference they played last season, some the, the way set up play, but play quite similar in terms of, of attack. And, uh, yeah, it's, it was one game away, everything can happen. Uh, and and we're going like like we did in the past try to go there and win and go to semifinals uh, Fred Caldeira Sport Interactive Brazil um, obviously when you face a club like Real Madrid in Champions League people will highlight the strengths and the difficulty of facing such a winner side but is there any positives out of this draw of like City having Madrid in eighty finals of course, it's positive because we are in the best six, 16 teams in, in Europe and that is a good news. The people think it's uh, it's um, it's not enough. Of course, it's not enough. Every team wants to go through and, and do it better. Yeah, it, if you want to do it well in this competition, you have to face this type of teams, these teams sooner or later. Can do it now or in quarterfinals you go through and semifinals and the finals. So in this competition there are not uh, teams on lack of quality. So English teams, Spanish teams, French teams, even German teams. So German teams. So all, all of them are are really good. So it's an incredible test for us. But we face them with illusions. So we are going to try to prepare well these two months to arrive as best as possible for the injured players that we have many. And now we have one feeling and we have maybe better feeling in February or worse feeling, so we will see. So it's what it is and you have to to make a step as a team, so we have to face them sooner or later. Of course they have more experience than us in this competition, so this type of players play this kind of game many, many times and we start to play in that position. So, But for us, it's an incredible experience to face them and we're going to try to compete with them as best as possible. And, of course, I have an incredible confidence on my team to to make, to make do a good two games and and suffer the bad moments and be stable in the bad moments and try to, you know, to analyse them and what we can do to to make a good two games. And is it special to face Zinedine Zidane on the other side? Of course it is, because it was one of the best... Uh, I, I dream as a football player, play with him. Uh, at the end, it didn't happen. When I leave from Barcelona, pff, I, it was my dream play with Juventus, but it didn't happen to play with him. And I think with the manager. I think it's in, I didn't speak much with him, so maybe three or four times, but the first impression is an incredible person and how he handled the pressure to handle this kind type of teams like Madrid, Barcelona, like Ernesto right now, no, do this calm. I'm not like this, honestly. So yeah, I admire him and of course it's it's really good this type this kind of person is in the in the worldwide football worldwide and, and, and do it well. It will be a pleasure to see him to see him again. 
Hi, Jack Ward from Haters. Um, what's your uh, thoughts on Siri as use of monkeys for their no to racism campaign? I didn't, I didn't know about that. I didn't know what I'm talking about. Everything is going to happen. To fight against that, you have to win the positive way to fight every single day. But I'm not aware about, about that. The guys from the embargo, please, for 10.30. <coughs>